So let's see how we can import um, or bring in a GitHub project uh, into Eclipse as a Google App Engine project. So you have, let's say you have, like I do here, I have a GitHub project already at GitHub, um, and uh, it's got nothing, and there's just got two little files, a little README with nothing in it, and another gitignore file there. And so what I want to do is uh, create a Google App Engine project using these files. Now, first, the way this, I think this should work, which doesn't work, is it should be able to say file import, uh, then go to git, projects from git, um, and I hit next, then I should be able to say URI, next, and then here I should be able to copy this to that here, which I already did, and go through that and if you do that it will uh, it will do something it will actually download the github project into one file and then it'll you can ask it to run the google app engine wizard and it will do that but in the end you're, you're going to end up with two projects you're going to end up with the one you downloaded and the other one that was just created by the app engine for the google python so it, that doesn't work um, think it's a bug or I can't get it to work. So let's do it this way. Uh, what we're going to do is first, you're just going to go here and do what we did in the other video. We're going to say file new, and we're just going to build a standard Google App Engine project. I am going to give it a name called Pintest. Next. That's a user local Google App Engine. OK, finish. So it created this pin test in my workspace. So within my workspace now, I have that. And now let's go to the terminal here. That's my 242 workspace. You see, I have pin test there, and I have uh, I have no files, just the dot project and the dot pydef project, which uh, you know are uh, Eclipse files. So uh, let's go to Chrome here. Now what we want to do is clone this guy now. And uh, I'm going to cut that, go to my terminal, and not here, not in my workspace, but I'm just going to go home or to some other directory. And I'm going to git clone that. I'm going to paste the URL I got from that, and then it's going to clone that in here. So now if I go to pinboard, I can see that I have a dot git directory. So it tells me this whole directory is under git. And uh, I have the two files, the gitignore and the readme.md file, right, which are the only two files in this. So now what I need to do is I'm going to copy these three files over to this directory within my workspace. And basically what I'm doing this is just, you know, moving, say, just saying that, you know, the only thing that you need for a git repo is this dot git, uh, which tells it. Uh, which is the repo itself, and uh, so we're going to move the repo over to there, and then I'm going to move the other two files over there too. Uh, so I'm going to go back to 42 workspace, pin test, then I'm going to copy from home, pin board slash uh, dot git ignore to here, and uh, I also want to copy uh, readme to here, and uh, Git is a directory, so I need to copy dash r to here. And now we can see all the files are there. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much done there. Now the only thing is git, uh, sorry, Eclipse will not recognize it just yet. So you have to right click there and go team. And uh, well, you can't see the team there, so I'm going to go over here, git. Well, that that doesn't work. Why is that? I don't know why that is like that. So right click here, go to team, and then share object. And get, and make sure this is checked, right? So you want to, in this case, use the repository in the parent folder. 
So, you know, this is where my workspace is. This, that's the repository. This is the, that. so we already have it. So just click finish and uh, there you go. So now this is what tells me that we are using Git, that this, or eGit, in this case, Eclipse Git. Um, it's on, so this project is on the master branch for that project. And we have these files here. Uh, you can double click and open them. Now, speaking of this, um, the git ignore file is, will, in, is, you know, tells you, tells git what files to ignore when checking in. Um, these are just a bunch of, uh, Python files. The two ones I added down here, dot project and dot pydef project. Um, you should put those. So if you don't have a dot git ignore, you should make a dot git ignore. Add that to your repo, and also in that text file, that git ignore. Make sure you put dot project and dot pydef project. Why? Well, if you go back here. Let's look at them. So you can dot, you know, you can look at those files like dot pydef project, and you see there's nothing much. There's not much in there, but you can see what is in there. It says Google App Engine, and then it's at, so it's saying that the Google App Engine is at this directory. So the problem is, you know, this is not going to be an issue if you're the only one using it, using this repo. But the whole you know, big reason why you're using Git is because you want to share with other people. And the problem will be uh, if, you know, you share this with some other user and he's on a Windows machine, then, you know, his app engine is not going to be a user local Google app engine. It's going to be a C colon slash whatever. So his whole thing is going to break when he tries to, uh, you know, Cool down your code. So when you're using Eclipse and working with other people, uh, even if you're both using Eclipse, you know, because he could be using Eclipse on Windows and you can be using Eclipse on a Mac or Linux, or maybe he just decided to put this in a different directory. So do not add those files or add those files to your Git ignore so they never the dot project and the dot pyta project should be inside your Git ignore file. And uh, while I'm here, one other tip um, is so here, you know, I'm getting ignore and I'm gonna change it. So, you know, this is a comment. So you see, as I change it, this change is here, that change color and I save it. Uh, well, it went away. So that's not cool. I mean, it, you know, a better thing would be if that line stays there telling me that this version is different from the previously committed version to Git. So how do you do that? You say Eclipse preferences, and then you're gonna search for quick dip. Quick dip. Two words there. Uh, enable quick div and use these reference source. A Git revision. You change that. Uh, you change that. Hit apply, okay, and then hopefully another comment. I think I just saved it. Uh, I think I have to create it. Let me just open that again. Get ignore, close it, and open it. Uh, you see, it's already telling me that this part here is different from the previously committed version, which is a lot useful then different from the last time I hit Command-S or Control-S. So just a little tip.